Yeah. Kevin, let's talk about that no-hitter we saw the other day. TJ Zoic, I guess is the guy's name. Buffalo Bisons pitching against the Rochester Red Wings. It's a neat dynamic when you're involved in something like this and you wonder, like, how and when does the crowd turn in the opposition's favor? I'm sure there was a percentage, you know, uh, probably a large percentage that hoped somewhere along the way there'd be a hit, but there's definitely some in the crowd. that I remember way back, way back, Ron, <laughs> watching, watching Ron Guidry pitch, and it, like he took a no-hitter into the sixth against the Twins, and I'm open to see one. My friends are like, what are you, anti-twin? You can't do that. I thought it was great. This, the ninth inning, I'm hoping the guy in center field makes the catch. Yeah. That was an amazing catch to preserve the no-hitter. Of all the Red Wing games to miss, my son and my wife went to that game on Monday. He had a great time. And it was not just the camaraderie and family and friends he was with, but it was just something he'd never really seen before, which is how many no-hitters can you see? And it was the Red Wings losing. But I asked him after the game, I'm like, did you have fun at the game? He's like, yeah. And then I realized, like, really, like, wait a minute, it was no hit and you still had fun? He's like, yeah, that's how good the Red Wings are. <laughs> Have you ever seen one yourself? I've never seen a no hitter. The only time I saw one was Johan Santana and that was on TV. Kevin, you got one? Live? Uh, not live. Listen? No, not live. Hmm. What do you think? When's it okay to root for the opposition? Okay, so it's funny. Like, there's a roller coaster of emotions, right? Because you brought up, you know, the six, Ron Guidry. If I'm in the six, I still want that no hitter to go away because my team still has three innings to make this thing work. If you get to the eighth, you get me one out in the eighth, and you're still pitching a no hitter. I'm cheering for you. Now the game I was at, it was like five or six nothing Yankees. Okay, so all right, that's fine. That that's one's fine. probably over. Now it was one nothing um, for Buffalo against the Red Wings on Monday night into the seventh inning. And a game that the Wings really needed to have. Correct. So it's very tough that all right, the, you're, the home team needs to win to make the playoffs, but. Well, a little bit of history, something you don't see. But there's a funny thing about sitting through a no-hitter for the opposing team, right? Like, once we get to 8-1, and one, I want this no-hitter to happen. But if somebody gets a hit off of him, I'm furious that I just sat through this whole game and didn't see a hit <laughs> the whole damn time, right? Like, if you're going to get that far with no hits yeah. in front of me, you better finish it. Because if not, I hate you so much. Is there a parallel in another sport to this? No, because I don't think there's any... I don't think there's anything that compares to this individual effort of, and you got to have some luck. I mean, 15 ground balls. This isn't today's baseball where every second guy strikes out or every third guy strikes out. He struck out three guys. And meanwhile, you know, for the Red Wings, they have Syracuse again and Buffalo before the end of the regular season. So they're still fighting for a position, but I can't think of anything. Uh, I mean, maybe the closest, it's not really even close, but the closest thing I can think of would be a natural hat trick in hockey where you're cheering against someone on your own team to score a goal to try and get that natural hat trick for somebody else. Natural hat trick, yeah. three straight goals Thank for the same player, just making sure. <laughs> Golf, maybe. Hole in I one, maybe. During during the, uh, it's not like you're cheering you know, for or against, oh, I hope this ball bounces in. Oh, I yeah. think during the Masters, I think people who weren't necessarily 100% behind Tiger Woods were at that point kind of saying, okay, I can buy into this. I but wanted, maybe that's the only thing. I wanted to watch him screw it up. I wanted to see Did a massive really? collapse. And I have nothing against Tiger Woods. <laughs> I just wanted to see what that meltdown would look like in that kind of exposure. He had a career meltdown for a moment there. Isn't that not enough? No, but that was it. Like, I yeah. wanted... Like, I'm well, an off, evil, off the course and on. <laughs> I'm an evil human being. I wanted him to think, like, oh, I did it. And then just watch him completely collapse on the back throw. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. An now, evil you, human being. You can't like TJ Zoink Zoic because he's a huge Tom Brady fan. Check out his Twitter. It's everything is Tom Brady. It's amazing. Way to run a fun guy. story. Way to go. Great awesome. Guy.